My name's Matt Cryer. I'm the Awards Standards Manager here at Rosper, and I look after the assessment process, the judging panels, uh, and the various question sets that are used for the Health and Safety Awards Scheme. Uh, today, in 2023, the Rosper Awards is one of the most prestigious and recognised health and safety schemes in the world, with almost 2,000 entries each year. Uh, they come from nearly 50 different countries and have a reach over around 7 million employees. Um, our health and safety awards, therefore, are a really truly global offering and they're open to companies from, from anywhere in the world to participate. Um, we'd hope to be joined by one of our uh, winners to talk about what the awards mean to their organisation today. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a slight technical hitch with that, but um, I'm going to be joined by uh, Shelley, who is one of Rosper's key account managers. Uh, we can talk a little bit about some of the benefits that um, Rosper are able to offer in terms of supporting entrants who are part of the awards process. And then I'll also just touch on some of the headlines uh, and changes and things that you might like to be aware of in terms of preparing you ready for the 2024 awards, which are now open for registration as of today. We're really excited to share. Um, so, Shelley, uh, your key account manager for, for ROSPA, and um, so you uh, are able to kind of share and discuss with us kind of lots of the different things that you do to support our award entrance uh, and the benefits your ROSPA are able to offer in terms of you know supporting our different industry sectors that we've we've got entering the awards. Um, so you're you're assigned to a specific key sector yourself, aren't you, Shelley? Um, and you provide support as as one of those key account managers. Um, I wonder if then you could tell us a little bit about how you uh, offer that support and what kind of things you can do to support the entrance as part of the awards entry process. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Matt. Um, so, as you mentioned, the key account management team, um, we are split into our own industry sectors. Um, so that sort of minimises the amount of clients that we deal with. So we have enough time to dedicate to our clients. Um, so essentially, your key account manager, when you're going through the awards process, will be your single point of contact for ROSPA. So any questions that you've got throughout the process, um, anything that you have um, in terms of support, just come straight to us and we can then direct you to um, you know, a technical expert or subject matter expert if needs be. Um, but also we will provide things to you um, like reminders for deadlines, um, any important dates coming up if you need to register or enter or anything. Um, and then in terms of things like multi-site awards, um, if you're in charge of looking after a lot of um, site entries, we can help coordinate that for you. So we could liaise, liaise directly with the sites, um, the people entering at the sites or provide reports to yourselves, um, anything like that really. Um, it's just being that go-to person so you're not wondering who you need to contact uh, for different things. That's great. That's really helpful. And it's not just yourself, is it, Shelley? I say we've got a team of others similar to yourself who are able to support um, whatever different industry area our, our entrants are coming from. Um, so kind of following on from that, um, if we have an entrant who has maybe entered previously or is entering for the first time and they're seeking to do really well or to improve in a particular area, such as maybe employee engagement or uh, investigation monitoring, how can you and Rosper's other key account managers help support and assist with this kind of thing? Yeah, so I think the first step um, in terms of seeking improvement for anything would always be to add feedback um, to your entry. So you can do this at the point um, that you register. Um, and essentially you will receive um, as an entrant, you'll get a full feedback report um, on your entry. And then once you've received that, you can come to your key account manager with any um, questions or concerns that you have. We can go through it with you in more detail or we can set up um, meetings with people within our awards team that will be able to help you build on any future applications. Um, and another thing we can do as well um, is potentially set you up with an awards mentor mentor for future entries so we do have a mentor scheme where we can partner um new entrants particularly up with people who have already won awards in the past um usually within a similar industry and people have found that really useful that's fantastic that's really helpful um so lots of you uh who are joining the webinar today obviously you're interested in what what an award will bring to your organization um, I think it's fair to say that the, the Rosper Awards are a, a process that has, you know, lots of things that it can bring to your organisation. It can bring to you kind of as individuals completing it as well. Um, the Rosper Awards fits into Rosper's kind of portfolio 
um, of workplace safety arrangements. So our, our vision as an organisation is to see life free from serious accidental injury. And the Rossborough Awards are a really important tool in terms of helping us uh, realise that in the workplace environment. Um, and they're a unique opportunity for you to kind of grow and learn and share together as we uh, we pursue that, that accident goal. So um, the, uh, the awards are a chance to participate in a community of like-minded organisations who are all seeking to uh, pursue health and safety excellence. They're a chance for you to celebrate your past performance for you to inspire future success, uh, for you to demonstrate ongoing uh, continuous commitment and also to benchmark year on year. And that's something that the, the, the key account managers can also help with through the, the idea of entering multiple sites, um, something we previously discussed. Um, I'm just going to give a little bit of an overview then in terms of uh, the achievement award category then uh, and how that breaks down, what that looks like uh, for you if you're a new entrant or if you're a returning entrant. So uh, the achievement award is a merit based category that looks at um, a whole range of different aspects of your health and safety management. Uh, it features 10 main questions which ask different details about different aspects of that management. Um, and they're also then awarded on a range of grades from merit, bronze, silver, and gold, depending on how you uh, perform against our mark scheme. So this is our most popular category. Uh, it also offers opportunities for you to celebrate ongoing and long, longer term success with what we call our sustained achievement awards. So you may hear of companies celebrating the likes of a gold medal award, which is celebrating five years plus continuous years at gold or a president's award, which is 10 years plus uh, and other categories similar to that. So it's a great way of you know, looking at your organization kind of in isolation. Um, it's made up of a few different components. So we have written responses to those management system questions. Uh, they allow you to give us a narrative about how you're managing your health and safety. Um, and then also um, they allow us uh, to provide evidence to support each of those individuals. Um, and in turn, um, it takes us through each step of your, your management system. Um, we do uh, have the opportunity to talk a little bit about this now with one of our one of our previous entrants um, who I believe we've managed to connect. <laughs> so um, we will we would we will pop back into the chat on that. Thank you for your patience and um, um, everybody who's joined us today. Um, Steve, I'm gonna come over to you then if that's okay. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm, we're joined here today by, by Steve Hewings uh, from Morrison Energy Services. Steve, thank you for taking the time to come and, and speak with us. Um, you are a kind of a long term participant, aren't you, to, to the Rossborough Awards, um, having entered for a number of years. So Morrison uh, Energy Services were the 2023 winners of the Construction Commercial Industry Award. Um, and as an organisation, they work to uh, repair, renew and refurbish and maintain the country's gas, electricity and, and green energy, energy infrastructure. Um, Steve, we're, we're really pleased to be able to have you uh, have you with us. We know you've kind of got lots of industry experience yourself, having previously uh, served in the, the army for, for some 20 odd years uh, before making your way through uh, the ranks uh, working for Morrison Utility Services, as it was, and uh, now Morrison Energy Services. Um, and we're kind of delighted to have you joining us as, uh, as head of health and safety for, for Morrison Energy. Um, so we, we had a few kind of questions to talk to you about today, Steve, looking at um, yep. what winning a Rosper Award has brought to your organisation. Um, so we, we have a few, uh, yeah, two or three questions to go through. So you've been entering uh, for a total of 22 consecutive years, which is quite an achievement and quite a journey, I'd imagine. Um, how, how do you feel that the awards has helped with the ongoing development of the health and safety culture uh, and health and safety excellence at, at Morrison Energy Services. Okay, can you all hear me okay? First of all, I apologise, okay? I had technical security issues with coming into this, so... Uh, you are loud and clear, you. thank you. Okay, so first of all, the culture really within our business um, and supporting the Rossby Awards and being part of the process and being um, going for the awards, particularly the Sir George Earl Trophy, trophy provided probably demonstrable 
and visible commitment from our organization, the senior, le senior leadership team really, as to the required standards, standards and, and the expected um, standards across the business. And it also sets the tone and the expectations from the top for the health and safety across the business. What it does as well, it, it, the culture really, it raises and maintains a health and safety profile in the business. And additionally, the, the, the profile of our department as well, it does a lot for us. It's a lot of hard work, believe it or not, but it provides a lot of reward and particularly for the people that do it. It supports what they do and it gives a reason for it to everything they do. And um, it really, really adds to the value from a Czech perspective. And like I say, it is hard work, but it does boost the morale of our team. Um, both internally and externally, people in the wider business who support the uh, the process and make it particularly worthwhile. So really, as far as the culture goes, just to round that off, in general, the awards process supports the ongoing process within our health and safety con uh, culture within Morris and Energy Services. But in the main, we actually believe that health and safety is fundamentally concerned with our people. So as a result, really, we feed back the success to our people and they join in as part of the uh, the team to to kind of be part of it but also accept the success across the wider business that's probably really the culture side of things that's fantastic that's that's really interesting and i think um i think cultures the fact that you've been kind of going on for for 22 years culture is very much a a journey isn't it it's, a, it's not something we can turn around and, and steer quickly but um i think um, yeah you've, you've been on a you know a, a sustained journey with the awards um yeah. i think thanks steve you're also part of quite an ex exclusive club aren't you within within morrison uh, in terms of organizations who won the sir george Earl trophy on, on more than one occasion uh, which is a really fantastic achievement um how has that success and maybe your your other success at the industry sector level uh, demonstrated kind of consistency through the years that you've been entering and and how has that maybe helped gain trust and respect amongst your, your stakeholders and those that you're working with? Yes, yeah, so it's pretty much really a continuation from the sector awards, but, you know, following the, um, the sector awards, then we go on to an internal audit and a confirmation process for a series of site visits and going through this on many occasions, really, um, and being awarded the Sir George Earl Trophy, it provides a, a, a good assurance of our management system to not only the business, our leaders, our clients, um, with the necessary assurance really, gained both internally and externally, a lot of trust and a lot of respect, you know, particularly with, you know, our clients, our tendering processes, all that type of stuff, to give them the confidence that we've got a, a, a proper demonstrable robust system in place um and it's also probably the best in class kind of um audit process you could probably go through um as as a business okay so it, it's really worth doing and if you get to that stage you, you get an option whether you go for the sir george Earl trophy or you decline and i would certainly recommend it to uh, to go to 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 go through and hopefully achieve in going forwards that's fantastic i think um so the Sir George Earl Trophy stage that you mentioned, obviously it's now got a couple of additional steps, hasn't it, for those for those entrants who, who take part in it. So um, for those of you who are entering the Industry Sector Award or considering entering the Industry Sector Award, that process now uh, includes uh, two additional stages. So one of those being a, a visit to, to the site uh, or a typical example site by, by Rosper consultants and, and judging panel representatives. Uh, that allows us to see various things in practice uh, that have been described in the entry submission. So uh, it gets us the opportunity to speak to people at different levels of the organisation, uh, as we would have done when we paid a visit to, to Morrison Energy Services. Um, it allows us to, to meet uh, with uh, like people who are on shop floor, who are site level, people who are in management, people who are in senior management. I think it, it's a really helpful way for us to understand the ownership of, of that safety culture that we've described a little bit today. Um, we also have a, a second stage to the, the Sir George L Trophy, which requires a presentation to be made to our, our judging panel. 
Uh, and that now has some kind of key links to ongoing legacy uh, in terms of how you can help educate others based on your learning and success. So now the Sir George L Trophy includes uh, additional stage for uh, engaging with a future legacy and learning project with ROSPA um, as a result of that success. So I think they're both, uh, you know, demanding additional stages to go through, aren't, aren't they, Steve? But they're, they're exciting and they're, and they're really, really uh, interesting as part of the overall process. Um, in terms of real world success stories, Steve, um, from award winning organisations, they've always been a really important thing for us to share within our forums, within our webinars, because uh, we're really keen to help foster a community of, of like minded organisations who are striving for continuous improvement in safety. What examples might you be able to reflect on from Morrison Energy Services, uh, thinking around how uh, transformative changes have maybe occurred or things that you've experienced or implemented in, in the last few years? This might be particularly of interest to people as well, I think, because we've now got a question in the question set, uh, question 11 in the achievement and industry sectors uh, that looks at this kind of thing. You know, what are these kind of uh, transformative changes? Yeah, a couple of little bits really I'll touch on that and thanks for that. Um, our cultural development program in the business is called It Starts With Me. Obviously starts with the individual looking at the wider kind of cultural um, aspect of health and safety. And since um, the success in, in the Rossborough Awards, that's been adopted now by the five divisions of M Group Services. But kind of lower down the scale really, a couple kind of small initiatives and uh, campaigns I could touch on is probably our people and plant interface, um, obviously a major hazard in, in the works we do, we kind of do. That's been adopted by, again, the five um, groups, the five divisions of M Group Services, but also a lot of external organisations. Eve has gone as, as far as Dubai, which is quite a, uh, a pat on the back and quite nice to hear. And kind of another one, another aspect as well, kind of lower level approach is our vibration management, which we um, got a series of uh, processes and procedures that we, we produced in conjunction with the Off-Highway Plant and Equipment Research Centre. And that's been adopted across the group as well, but even gone as far as the US military. All right, so uh, another kind of success story as well. And what we do as, as a business, we're very open and transparent about what we, um, the initiatives, the processes, the procedures, Etc. And we're more than happy to share with our subcontract workforce and even a wider industry. We actually believe what we're doing is is for not just our own safety, but it's for everybody. And as far as we can get it, we we will pass it out to people and share it. So thank you. That's great. Thank you. That's uh, that's really helpful. Um, I think um. I think something else that we've kind of we've kind of included in the awards process and that you've touched on a little there um, is this kind of idea of kind of self-reflection. Um, so I think self-reflection is, is something that we've built into the awards process throughout now. Um, encouraging this, you know, it's not the awards entry isn't just kind of filling in a range of questions. It's not just a tick box exercise, but it is this opportunity for you to have a bit of a self audit to think about what's been going well over the last 12 months. Um, how do you kind of engage in reflective practices like that yourself, Steve, with, with Morrison? Is that is that part of the way you work? It absolutely is, yeah. And it's a it's a kind of it's a, it's a tip really to take things forward is reflect on um and if you're doing the awards, reflect on what you've done in the year, the good, the bad, the not so good, your your performance, etc. And and build up a portfolio of this ready for the awards when it comes around, build it into your diary collate the evidence and, and start it early. It's definitely, um, because although we do it year in, year out, we do forget a lot of things we do. It's gone by the wayside, you know, good and bad, et cetera, to, uh, to actually learn from it. We are a large organization and, and think there is a bit of corporate uh, kind of amnesia, if you like, along the way. So uh, that is a tip to, uh, to take forward, I think. That's really helpful, thank you. Um, I think, before we kind of um, kind of close out on the, on the questions we've got, and we'll we'll take a look at any that we've got coming in on on the chat as well. Um, if anybody has got any questions either for Steve or for Shelley or myself, feel free to drop them in in the chat box at the side as we as we continue. Um, in terms of uh, the entry process, Steve, and how how your organisation approach pulling your your entry together each year. 
Um, I wonder if you have any kind of top tips uh, for any of those yeah, uh, potential yeah. entrants that we have <clears throat> listening in today. Okay, yeah. Uh, first of all, what I will say, it's a lot of work, all right, but it's absolutely well worth it, all right? So what I would say is always allow enough time for these awards. It does take a bit of time. Put it in your diary, build it to the diary, collect the evidence, start early, and review on the previous year's feedback. If you've done it before, Rosper are very good at providing feedback to you. Um, and review that and work on that feedback in the first instance. But what I would say, a couple little items is read and understand the questions, all right? Absolutely um, imperative to getting a good answer, but stru structure your answer, think like the adjudicators, make it easy for the adjudicators, and then it, it demonstrates you've got to, you thought about the process, you've mind mapped it out, and they can answer it a little bit easier. And also when you've, got the answer, audit the answers internally, get somebody else to audit, audit the answers. Allow time, very important this, to upload the answers. It, I think you've got about 80, certainly on the construction sector awards, there's about 80 pieces of evidence. So allow time to upload it. Technical hitches, we had one earlier, all right? So uh, allow enough time to do that. Um, and, and finally, probably is, is relax with it and enjoy the award ceremony at the end of it because it is well worth it and you've put the work in that's brilliant thanks thanks steve um you touched on on feedback there um shelly i might just kind of recap with you if that's okay so we we spoke a little bit about about feedback earlier didn't we um i think we've we've got the opportunity for entrants to sign up um for for feedback in the forthcoming 2024 round uh, which we're, we're now heading into um are we able to kind of um, engage with entrants on their feedback reports that they may have received as part of 2023? And how could you support that with the other key account managers in terms of that process? Yeah, definitely. I mean, anyone who has re um, received feedback from their entry from last year or previous years, um, if that has raised any questions, then we would be more than happy to pick that up um, and see if there's anything we can do to improve your future entry. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely something we can look at. Um, just bring it to us. That's great. And we can signpost people in various different directions, can't we, for, for any support, be it entry support or be it um, support on some of the, you know, the background policies and procedures that you may want to develop more, uh, potentially based on some of the feedback that you've had. Um, I think you, the preparation thing that you just touched on there, Steve, was was really helpful. I think um, we are now in a position that we're, we're opening registrations for 2024. Um, and by getting in nice and early, I think particularly if you are doing this for the first time, um, it gives you the maximum amount of time to um, to put that entry together and, and break it down, like you said, to diary, diary stage by stage. Do you do you share out kind of the content and the responses around your team to kind of to work on it as a group, Steve? Or yeah, absolutely. I'm, I mean, I'm very fortunate. I got a um, a Czech analyst who. who works um, alongside myself and she is absolutely brilliant at collating information throughout the year putting it all into the all into the separate folders for each of the uh, each of the relevant questions to uh, to pdf to to introduce and to submit as part of the awards as as we go along and being being the analyst as well she's very good at uh, putting the figures in the in the back end of the uh, submission depending on what uh, award you go for to uh, to demonstrate that as well so definitely prepare early and collate as the year goes by is what i would say that's fantastic and i think in terms of that evidence that you just mentioned kind of filing and, and collecting together we're not looking for anything that's kind of particularly bespoke or created specifically for the application are we this is just kind of day-to-day -day working documents that show and demonstrate and support um the narrative that you're you're describing so they support how you're describing your safety management system working aren't they absolutely matt you know and i, I always believe as well it's better to see a document that's been used on site and been utilized rather than a nice shiny brochure and i, I think ross would agree with me as well that uh, you know they want to see something that's embraced by the workforce and is providing some sort of value and benefit that's great um, I'm just going to turn to a couple of questions that we've got coming in on the chat. 
Um, we've got someone asking for, for a large sized organization. How long do you think is adequate preparation time, especially if I'm entering the awards for the first time? I think that's a really good question. Um, so by registering early, um, you can maximize that preparation time. So with, with the awards registration opening now, anybody that kind of start with a registration in the near future in the in the next week or so would potentially have the best part of uh, three and a half months to pull this together um, and I think that's really helpful when you're doing it for the first time um, because it allows you to as we've discussed it allows you to space out the preparation um, and it allows you to to look at different questions at different times rather than having a kind of a big rush to find everything at, at the last minute um, so I think we, we have feedback from from entrants that, you know, they may spend a week or two on this in, in total. Um, but if you spread that out, um, it allows you to break that down. It allows you to reflect and get the most out of the reflective part of this as an exercise. Uh, it allows you to go back and review as well and to consider and really refine your submission before you put it into us towards the end of January. So um, the overall process for anybody who is keen to submit and is unfamiliar, it begins with the registration process uh, in which you get your login details to access our online secure entry portal. And then following that, you uh, can spend uh, right up to the entry deadline, which will this year again be towards the end of January. Um, you can spend all of that time pulling those details together, editing securely, adding your documentation, sharing it around your team uh, and checking and checking and pulling it together. Um, so once you've done that, you'll submit it to us and then it goes into our assessment process. So the assessment process starts uh, looking through your responses with our team of independent adjudicators and judges. Uh, and then eventually we'll move on to sharing your award result with you uh, during March. And then we'll move on to our celebration phase, which is the final stage, which I think is a really key part of the awards. I know you've brought your team along to that previously, Steve, haven't you? And there's some great benefits to, to joining together and really celebrating with everyone that's helped achieve that success. Absolutely, Matt. It's a um, it's, it's recognising the people as well. It's boosting the morale. And they work all year, you know, to uh, to, to support us out there doing the job. And it's nice to give them a pat on the back and say, well done, this is what we've achieved, and uh, have a night out and enjoy it. It really is a good night. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to touch quickly on two additional questions, and then I think we'll we'll wrap things up here because I'm I'm aware we kicked off a little bit a bit later than advertised, so we'll let everybody then get on with the rest of your days. Um, I've had a question here as to whether you have to be ISO forty five thousand and one certified to submit. Uh, no, you don't. Um, if you are already, it's a great uh, great preparation for the kind of information and documentation that you you would need to bring to the award entry, uh, but you don't have to be 45,001 certified. Um, as you go through, it's a question of whether you'll be able to answer each of the, the 10 questions of which you can find samples of on our website at rosper.com forward slash awards. Um, it's really just a case of, uh, you know, making sure that you have a management system in place that addresses each of those 10 points and that you are able to document that and demonstrate it in use. Um, so it's not a, a requirement, but it is it is helpful. Um, and then one one final um, question we've got about someone looking to uh, to return to the awards after having a little bit of a gap. Um, I'd encourage you to just get in touch with our administration team in the first instance. So that's uh, ideally via email at awards at rosper com, and they'll be able to uh, locate your previous details, uh, and then we'll be able to. Um, associate you with being the same organization going forward um, so uh we'll wrap things up there for today thank you very much steve for, for joining us i really appreciate your your advice and your your suggestions and your support of the session today and thank Pleasure. you also shelly for um kind of helping us understand a little bit uh, how our key account managers can support those uh, in the awards process whether you're new to it um, or whether you're returning after 22 years in the case of, uh, of Morrison Energy Services. Um, if any of you have asked questions that we've been unable to uh, log or respond to in the session today, don't fear, we will come back to you individually. Uh, we do follow up all the questions that are asked in the sessions. Um, alternatively, you can still reach out to our awards team via that same address we mentioned. So that's awards at rosper.com uh, and we'd be more than happy to assist 
uh, and direct any questions that you have there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, the 2024 awards is now open and taking registrations as of today. So we'd encourage you to, to make the most of those things we've been discussing about maximizing your preparation time, um, particularly if you're doing this for the first year. And if you're considering doing this for the first year, welcome. Um, so we do have one further um, award specific webinar that's, uh, that's going to be happening on October the 10th, which is our next one. Um, those of you uh, can register for that on the website, or you can do that through the membership pl platform at MyRospa. Um, all of the other information is available now on rospa.com forward slash awards for the 2024 round. So thank you for everybody for joining in today, and um, we hope to see you in the near future. Thank you. Thank you.